Hello, this is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers, and today I want to showcase some sunglasses that Oakley sent us. These are all equipped with the Prism lenses, which is pretty awesome. Those are the top line Oakley lenses right now. Uh, Oakley introduced the Prism, I believe, in 2017 at, at least I saw them at Interbike for the first time. And so the, the glasses that they sent us out is we have a jawbreaker here and then the radar over here and the zero. So the jawbreakers, from my personal experience, seem to be the best for me, at least uh, as far as cycling. I, I like these glasses. They're, they sit pretty wide on your face. Uh, you have a really excellent field of view. Even when you're down, the, the frames of the glasses are high enough that they don't really obstruct your view. Um, when you're looking downward, um, the, the, you can see the frame a little bit, but it's not that distracting. And then if you have a helmet on, this is what it looks like. So just put this on. So that's what it looks like from the front and from the side. Uh, the radars, um, they don't take up as much space on your face. And since they don't have a frame here, if you're looking downward, uh, the frame doesn't obstruct your view at all. And then actually when you're looking up, I don't really notice the frame that much. Uh, but I, I, I do believe that these are a little bit better as far as when you're looking up. And then you have the zeros that don't have a frame on either side. And so they look like this. Now, as far as uh, the, the way I'm using these, these are just sort of um, when I'm out walking around, I'll probably have those on. Uh, when I go out running, um, I, I tend to like these, the radars. But for cycling, I, I definitely like the jawbreakers. Now, with the jawbreakers, you have a lot of different color palettes that you can choose from. Um, it, you can change the color of the top part of the frame as well as the bottom part of the frame. You can change the uh, icon or logo here and the back part of the glasses. And with all these glasses, you can switch out the lenses. Um, with the Oakley Jawbreakers, the way the lenses come out is you have your nose bridge here and you just sort of flip it up and that releases this little catch here. And let's see, you can sort of see that maybe. And then you can just pull the top part off and then replace the lens with whatever lens you want. So let me put that back on. And then when you're done, you just click it back into place. So the uh, jawbreakers, um, they, they range from $205 to, if you get all the works, $275 or $85. Um, Typically, like if, if you were to get it just like this with the prism lenses, it would be about $265. Um, if you went with a polarized lens, uh, it would be about $255. So $10 more to get the prism lenses. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over from here over to Oakley's website and we're going to take a little deeper dive into the jawbreaker and show you how you can customize it to meet your needs. All right, so we're at the Oakley website and it's oakley.com and we're taking a look at the jawbreaker. So the jawbreakers start out at $205 and then go up from there. Uh, if you choose the polarized, that's gonna add 50, so it will be at 255 and another 10 for the prism lens at 265. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the process of choosing the, the various colors for your lenses and also the frames and everything else that goes with the jawbreaker. What I really like about the jawbreaker is it is really customizable as far as colors. So they have a lot of color offerings. And so depending on what you like, uh, you have a lot of options. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do white for the frames and maybe a little blue accent for the logo and the back of the sunglasses. As far as the glass itself, we're gonna go with a polarized, probably blue would look nice. So with the frame, the top part of the frame, I'm choosing white. So you can see here, and you can get a, a little glimpse 
as far as what the glasses are going to look like here. So, so far, so good. And then for the lens type, you have three different types. So we have the standard, the polarized, and the prism. The prism came out, I believe, last year. I saw it at Interbike. And so I, I think it was their new lenses. There's a little higher definition. The polarized, of course, is if you have a lot of glare, it cuts the glare out because it acts sort of like a window shade. And so we're going to use the polarized. And I'm going to choose a blue because I think that's going to look really nice with the, the white frames. Um, another option would be something like this, but we'll go back over to the blue. And then for the, the jaw part, we're again going to choose white. So now we got the white on round here. And then I'm going to go down for the icon. I'm going to do the inside white so it sort of lines up. Now the, the highlight's going to look really nice when I go into blue. So we have that little blue icon. And then for the back, I'm also going to choose blue. And so I think this is a pretty nice pair of sunglasses. It's really going to stand out when you're out there biking. Um, I, t I tend to like the white frames. It's a little more radical than some of the other ones. Um, and then the other thing you have the ability to do is uh, use text. So let's say you wanted to customize your frames a bit more. You can enter some personalized uh, text here. So I'm going to go Carpe Diem. And then you can choose your font. So that right now they have three different font options. So probably the, the best one would be the stencil maybe. I don't know. Or the Bark 2. And that's it. But the the option does add twenty dollars to the price tag, um, so it is a bit more expensive. And then as far as how long the glasses take, they say it takes three to five days to get the glasses all set up prior to shipping, and then you figure another week or two to get the glasses. So in all, probably about three weeks, two to three weeks to get your glasses. But again, so we we'll just go through here. I think the glasses look really nice. Um, what's neat about them too is they are really, it's they have this interchangeable lens system. So essentially what you do is you pop up this nose bridge that pushes this thing up and then you can take your lenses out and then switch them with another one. One of the options I, I tend to like a lot is back up here on the lens type when you're choosing polarized, especially in uh, morning rides, having something like the uh, iranium uh, polarized or uh, a lighter lens um, because when it's uh, usually in the morning when it's a little darker you want something a little lighter so you can see the blue might be too dark as you can see here uh, versus something like this would be a little easier to see in the morning. I'm not sure if the standard has the same thing. Um, they even have one that's uh, sort of a gray, even lighter. They're certainly great glasses to use. I, I actually really like the Jawbreaker. I think they perform excellent. Um, the As far as viewable area is really, really good. Uh, looking from either side, the, the frames don't really get in your way. And then the coverage as far as airflow, um, the air sort of gets blocked away from your eyes so your eyes don't get all tired when you're cycling. Hey, thanks so much for watching. This is Tom Crandall again from Gear Mashers. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking in the lower right hand corner. That really helps out. And also check out our website gearmashers.com for all the reviews we do. A lot of times we'll do a more in-depth review than we do uh, when we do videos. So please check it out. Thanks so much.